so people finally starting the build log for the Wii Baby Core XY desktop printer. So for those of you who uh, would like to get to know this machine better or build it or just follow the process to uh, learn about 3D printers in general, maybe you want to upgrade your own, you can learn a lot by following in this vlog. So subscribe and uh, hit the bell for updates on the process building in this machine. I'm going to do this first by uh, assembling the printer in Fusion 360. Uh, the next step when we have done this will be to do it uh, live. But I, I would like to have uh, two options for you to follow. So um, some of the details are more easy to explain in the 3D model than on a live build. So let's just get started. We have the x-axis assay, which is quite uh, busy. We're going to do that later. <coughs> we have the bed assay, which is also going to go come back to later. And we have the electronics department. So let's start with the base frame then. <coughs> Actually, we're going to do this together with some of the printed parts. So this is a bottom square, which, which is nice to start with. I want you to print the corners first. So there are two corners to print. You have the A corner and the B corner. You have the A corner here and over here. So those are similar. Same with these two corners. These are the B corners. So print those first. When you have the corners printed, you want to attach these extrusions. Those are the Y extrusions and they should be tapped. So you need to tap the ends on four of these. For this bottom square, we use two of them. So attach this bracket to this extrusion with these three screws. That's the first very first step. Also the same over here. So attach this bracket to this extrusion. And then you repeat the process for this guy. When you have the four corners attached to this extrusion, then you add the X extrusions with the screws through the bracket and into the extrusion. Of course, there are T nuts here. So make sure you insert all the T nuts. Let me show you the T nuts. So here you can see all the T-nuts. Uh, I have those assembled onto the bracket. Of course, take off these T-nuts and you slide them into the extrusions and secure the screw. Also make sure, this is very important. Make sure you add T-nuts for the corner brackets on all extrusions before adding the printed corners. Just lay everything out on the, on the table Add enough T-nuts to the extrusions for all the corner brackets and for the printed parts. Then add the printed part to the Y extrusion. Then add the X extrusion to the printed corners. Also remember here, we need on one of the X extrusion, you need extra T-nuts for these two corner brackets, which hold the center slider for the C drive. If you have any questions, please let me know. But this should be very basic. And uh, of course, then you can start adding the corner brackets. So these two guys can just be mounted loosely at this point. And this one you can secure properly. So after this step, you should have the bottom of the base frame ready. And that's it for this video. I'm going to keep them short and uh, concise. Let me know if you want more details. This should be pretty much straightforward. Just remember the T-nuts. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Go melt some plastic.